In the last three years, getting a thumbs up in a technical interview, like a coding interview, has become 22% more difficult. A few years ago, I interviewed at Reddit for a junior data scientist role. During the coding round, the interviewer asked me, can you sort this Python list? So I did what any reasonable person would do. I used a Python's built-in sorted function. The output was correct. And in my head, I passed the interview, at least that question. But the interviewer looked at me and said, that's not acceptable for this interview. We want you to write the sorting function by hand. This is sadly a true story and the one that I will remember for ages. That was before pre-AI era. Back then, interviews rewarded memorization more than real world problem solving. Fast forward to today, things are different. Meta just announced that they're letting candidates use AI tools during coding interviews. Let that sink in. The interview game is changing, especially the coding interviews. Meta is piloting a new kind of coding interview where candidates can use AI systems like ChatGPT openly and intentionally. It's basically the open book text version that all of us did in the university, but now in coding interviews. Instead of testing what you memorize, it tests how well you can think, reason, and apply knowledge using modern tools. Because let's be honest, no one is handwriting quick sort on the job anymore. We use documentation, Stack Overflow, and now AI co-pilots. Companies like Meta wants to see how you work with these tools and not punish you for using them. And honestly, that shift is long overdue. Since this launch is announced, the tech community is having a field day. One Reddit user reacted to this announcement with excitement, but also skepticism. One person wrote, open book tests are harder than closed book. If you're vibe coding your way through with AI, expect that interview to be built with that in mind. And this is another person. They're hiring parrots, not engineers. I love that Meta is testing how well you can use your tools. And by your tools, they mean AI tools. And someone who has conducted over 50 plus technical interviews said, modern LLMs can solve the problem I give, but none of the candidates who relied on AI passed. They didn't know how to evaluate or iterate. So no, using AI doesn't make the coding interview easier. It just changes what's being evaluated. The thing is that as soon as these big companies like Meta, Google, Amazon make some changes, the rest of the industry follows. Now the question is, if this pilot is successful and Meta adopting it, the rest of the industry will eventually follow this. Now, before we talk about the three things that you can do today to prepare yourself for the next wave of coding interviews, I wanna show you a real world example of how far AI has come. And we're talking about coding assistant and agentic tools. Here's an example. I've been using Sphinx AI for analyzing data and building machine learning models. It's an AI agent designed for data scientists, data engineers, and data analysts. So a lot of coding. They're also sponsoring this portion of the video, but honestly, they are a perfect example of where we are in the industry with coding and data analysis. You can open Jupyter Notebook, give it a sample prompt, like build a classifier for customer churn, and it builds, runs, and validates the full workflow. It discovers and cleans data, trains model, evaluates performance with ROC curves and confusion matrix, and even highlights feature importance. You can ask Sphinx to switch models to something like XGBoost and it adapts. What impressed me the most is how advanced it is. It interprets data with nuances, has kernel level awareness and exactly what's going on in your notebook. And my personal favorite, Sphinx catches subtle logical mistakes in an analysis even when the code itself runs fine, something that software copilots consistently miss. It's especially powerful when you need to understand the exact details of the data and algorithms being used like when answering an algorithm question. Now, this is a great example of how far we have come with AI specifically for coding, especially when it comes to building agentic coding workflows. I'm linking the Sphinx AI in the description below for you to check out. Now that we've talked about what the future of coding interview looks like, let's talk about what this means for you. Should you cancel your $39 a month lead code subscription and toss out your copy of cracking the coding interview? Not yet. Here is what this shift really means for you. Three things specifically that I would like to highlight here. Number one is the fundamentals still matter. Yes, lead code isn't dead. The core skills, data structure, algorithms, problem solving are still your foundation. But let's be honest, if you're vibe coding a new product, building a new tool using AI, you actually need to know what the system architecture should look like in order to fully 
build something with a vibe code. So yeah, fundamentals are still very, very important. If ChatGPT hands your binary search solution and you don't understand how it works, you will have no way to check if it's correct or efficient. So fundamentals are in and memorization is out. Number two, Interviews are moving from can you code in isolation to can you work with these tools? Take my Reddit interview example. I gave the right answer using Python sorted, but they rejected it because they wanted me to hand write the sorting function. Fair. That was a memorization test. Let's say if Meta's new way of conducting interviews goes into practice, this whole narrative will switch. They won't care if you recall quick sort, they care if you can use an AI tool to generate a solution, evaluate it, debug it, and improve it. And lastly, what this means for you is that your advantage isn't knowing the answer, it's knowing how to guide that AI. If ChatGPT gives you working solution, can you catch a hidden bug, refactor it to be cleaner or faster, adapt it when problem changes. That's the difference between relying on AI blindly and actually engineering with it. In addition to the candidates like you and me who are participating in these interviews as candidates and doing the grind of prepping for those interviews and delivering our best performance in those interviews in a time sensitive setting, the interviewers and these companies who are setting up these interviews need to catch up. Right now, companies like Amazon and Anthropic still ban AI tools during interviews. But inside the same companies, employees are actually encouraged to use AI daily. In my current role, we are integrating AI into everything, you name it, from automating workflows to building faster and thinking beyond traditional tools, writing documents, you name it, like we are using it. In fact, I built internal AI trainings, including AI for analysts, Notebook LM 101 to help teams learn how to prompt and work with LLMs effectively in their daily jobs. So if that's what's expected once you are hired, why are interviews still stuck in the past? I would love to know your thoughts and comments. Coding interviews are already one of the most stressful parts of the job hunting process, and much of it doesn't even reflect how engineers actually work. McKinsey actually reported that 79% of workers already use Gen AI at work, yet most interviews ban it. And another survey shows that 70% of engineers find interview prep more stressful than the actual job, and I will attest to that. And hopefully with this new change, Meta is starting to fix it, testing how well candidates can think, adapt, and use tools shaping the future of engineering. So eventually others can follow the lead. Because let's be honest, this is not a trend. AI is not going anywhere. It is the new baseline. I'd love to know your thoughts and comments. What do you think is the future of coding interviews? What changes you are making in your personal coding interview prep to prepare for the future? Do you think the coding interviews need a reform? And is this the reform that we need? And if this is not the case, then what else do we need to change in coding interviews to make sure that we are moving forward with the industry? Let me know in comments and I hope you're having a great day. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.